Hello everyone, we have a bonus song for you which we are recording here in South Marston. The song is Rosin the Bow. Alfred Williams was born at Cambria Cottage in South Marston on the 7th of February 1877. The life of a working class child in the Victorian era was never going to be easy but it became much worse for Alfred at the age of five when his father abandoned the family. Alfred had to leave school at a young age to help provide for the family which consisted of his mother and seven other siblings. At first he was a farm labourer but at the age of 14 he began to work at the Great Western Railway Works in Swindon where he would stay for the next 23 years until ill health made him retire from that work. Alfred's questing mind, which would no doubt have set him apart from many of his colleagues, led him to study in his non-working hours. In his private studies, he learned languages such as Sanskrit, Greek and French, read the classics and Shakespeare and undertook a correspondence course in English literature with Ruskin College. Alfred published several works, including Songs in Wiltshire, Life in a Railway Factory, Round About the Upper Thames, and of course, Folk Songs of the Upper Thames, which has been the source of many songs of this project. Despite wild critical acclaim, Alfred and his wife Mary lived in poverty. In 1930, Mary was diagnosed with cancer, and Alfred's ill health was failing. Alfred would cycle from South Marston to the hospital where Mary was being treated, and then cycle home. And it is after one of these journeys that Alfred died on the 10th of April, 1930, aged 53. His wife, Mary, died three weeks later. Alfred has left us, as folk singers, with an amazing legacy in recording the songs sung by the working people of his day. He collected this particular song from a couple who were no doubt counted as his neighbours, Thatcher William Warren and his wife Martha, also known as Patty. William was born in Borton around 1840 to an agricultural labourer, also called William, and his wife Harney. The family moved to South Marston by 1851. While he spent much of his early life as an agricultural labourer as well, by his 50s, William had become trained as a thatcher, which would have been considered a more highly skilled trade. In 1862, William married Martha Lewis, here in South Marston, and their marriage certificate shows they were both literate. They had at least three children. Their son, Edwin, would become a railway labourer, which again gives us a glimpse into the changing world William found himself in, with a shift away from agricultural work to working in the more industrialised towns. William died in 1909, aged 70, with Martha passing away a few years later in 1913, aged 80. For Alfred to have collected this song from the couple several years before many of the songs detailed in Folk Songs of the Upper Thames, I wonder if hearing William and Martha singing their favourite song may have influenced Alfred's decision to travel the area recording these old songs before they disappeared. Whatever the case, Alfred's dedication to that task and the generosity of the source singers to share their songs have left modern folk singers with a wealth of songs to carry forward into the future. As always, we'd love to hear if you've got any more information about the songs or the singers. Um, let us know in the comments or on social media. I've travelled this wild world all over now to another I'll go For I know that good quarters are waiting To welcome old Ros in the bow To welcome old Ros in the bow To welcome old Ros in the bow For I know that good quarters are waiting To welcome old Ros in the bow I'm dead and laid out on the table A voice you will hear from below Crying out, whiskey and water To drink to old Ros in the bow To drink to old Ros in the bow To drink to old Ros in the bow Crying out, whiskey and water And 
when I am dead, I reckon The ladies will want to, I know Just lift up the lid of the coffin And look at old Ross in the bow And look at old Ross in the bow And look at old Ross in the bow Just lift up the lid of the coffin Stout pillows and stand them all round in a row and drink out of half gallon bottles to the name of old Ross in the bowl. To the name of old Ross in the bowl. To the name of old Ross in the bowl and drink out of half gallon bottles to the name of old Ross in the bowl. Then get a full dozen young fellows And let them all staggering go And dig a great hole in the meadow And in it toss Ross in the bow And in it toss Ross in the bow And in it toss Ross in the bow And dig a great hole in the meadow Ross in the bow. Then get you a couple of tombstones, put one at my head and my toe, and do not fail to scratch on it the name of old Ross in the bow. 